Meet the Cayman 22 Iran's new long-range attack drone capable of striking across the Middle East. Iran has unveiled its latest class of attack drone, the Cayman 22, meaning Arrow 22 in Farsi, which reportedly has entered the final stages of production and has an endurance which far exceeds those of its rivals in the U.S. Air Force, the MQ-1 Predator and MQ-9 Reaper. The new drone closely resembles the two American aircraft, as well as the Chinese Wing Loon series, and notably is it built around a stealth airframe as other Iranian designs have been. The Cayman 22 reportedly has a range of almost 3,000 kilometers, quoted as 1,860 miles, and a very high endurance of up to 24 hours, and is not the first Iranian drone reportedly designed to operate at such ranges. For comparison, the American Predator and Reaper have ranges of 1,240 km and 1,850 km, while the range of China's Wing Loon lies between the two. It remains uncertain, however, whether this 3,000 km endurance refers to a fully armed Cayman 22 drone or not, with more weapons carried translating to a shorter range for all aircraft. While many major new weapons systems in Iran have been fielded exclusively by the country's Revolutionary Guard Corps, which is responsible for the large majority of overseas military operations, the Cayman 22 appears to be intended for the country's air force. Commander of the Islamic Republic of Iran Air Force, Brigadier General Aziz Nasirzadeh, stated regarding the new aircraft's capabilities. The Cayman 22 drone is capable of carrying all types of payloads with very long flight duration and has the ability to identify, monitor, and collect information and photograph distant targets. The Cayman 22 is hardly the first Iranian drone to closely resemble the American Predator's design, with the Shad 129 having a similar appearance and having been combat tested intensively against insurgent groups in Syria to support Iranian forces engaged there. Iranian drones have proven highly capable in combat conditions in the past, and one praise from former Israeli officials is highly sophisticated for their effectiveness in evading Israeli air defenses on reconnaissance missions. Although Iran's defense sector is overall considered unremarkable, drones are considered at most outstanding strength, with the development of flying wing stealth drones for combat operations in particular unseen elsewhere in the world. The Cayman 22 will likely form a cheaper counterpart to stealth designs such as the Shad 191 and was shown carrying four SATA guided bombs and two Balaban glide bombs. The use of guided munitions is an effective force multiplier, which allows Iranian forces to strike much more precisely and thereby by reduce the need for deploying large numbers of aircraft. Although the United Nations arms embargo on Iran was lifted, and Iran has since been expected to place orders for new classes of high-end manned fighter aircraft, the strength of the country's domestic industry for producing drones has provided an effective alternative, which has somewhat reduced its need for new foreign-made fighter aircraft. Iran's Revolutionary Guards undertook a two-day missile and drone drill in a central part of the country, which was the third military exercise in the month. The drill was to test the indigenous drone's combat, surveillance, reconnaissance, and electronic warfare capabilities over short and long distances. Iran has a growing list of homegrown armed and unarmed drones to compensate for the Air Force's loss of strength due to economic sanctions. Speaking to Reuters, an unnamed U.S. official said earlier this year that apart from surveillance work, Iranian drones are capable of dropping munitions and carrying out kamikaze flights when loaded with explosives. Another dimension of the Iranian drone threat is the country's collusion with proxies such as Hezbollah and the Houthis, with whom the Persian Gulf nation shares drone manufacturing know-how, while also training them to operate the U.S. Due to Iranian assistance, these militias are now able to execute complex integrated drone swarm and missile attacks, such as that which was carried out on the Abqaiq and Quraysh oil facilities in Saudi Arabia in 2019, 